Good morning, Scorpio. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Welcome aboard the Cosmic Chariot. I'm going to be your Tarot Reader today. My name is Tyler. How are you guys doing? All right, so Scorpio, this is going to be your monthly reading. Not all messages will resonate, but take our resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, Scorpio, if you do find that you are resonating with any of these messages, you are welcome to hit that like button or to hit that subscribe button and so that way you see future content. All right, and also if you would like to... Uh, you know, further help support my channel, you can um, click on the link in the description box below and it will take you to a, a place where you can, you know, help translate my videos for people that don't necessarily know English but still want to watch my videos so that way they can, um, you know, understand what I'm saying and stuff like that. So you can translate, you know, do the subtitles for them and stuff like that. But yeah. You don't have to, it's just something that I would really appreciate because I don't know many languages, I just know English. So, yeah. Um, so, let's uh, let's do one more shuffle and then we'll get right into it. So, we got the After Tarot deck, the Moonology deck for you guys today, and we also have these box, or like bowl of goodies right so it's a bunch of crystals and um message rocks and stuff like that so yeah you guys will see so you have the, the queen of swords in the at the bottom of the deck in the upright so that tells me that you're appreciating everything everything that you do you know even the little things you know you have this huge sword that you can use to you know, like cut anything and you know there's a butterfly just on the the tippity top and like you know one swing could slice that up but you're like super careful you're just admiring it and the beauty and all of it all of its beauty which is awesome so maybe you're this month you're going to be appreciating things a lot more all right so you have the queen of cups here so you may be feeling a bit emotional. Maybe you know you're not really wanting to argue as much this month. Uh, maybe you're possibly releasing some devil energy or some toxic energies, um, and you're finally you know restoring yourself, really focusing on yourself, um, getting away from all that drama and negativity, and starting to move forward in the direction that you want to go towards. So you do have the Knight of Wands here, so there could be some sexual energy going on around you. Uh, maybe you're wanting someone to come in, or, you know, whatever it is, you know, it's the Knight of Wands. It's in and out energy. Um, so just be careful when you're dealing with the Knight of Wands, because not, when you go towards this person it it may not be exactly what you want it may just be just for sex um it it's not necessarily going to be an equal give and take relationship um you guys are just having fun you're doing what you know you're just not stressing about it anymore you're just doing your own thing right but at the same time is this what you want do you just want to fool around and then that's it you want to you know pretend like you're kids again and you know feel free to do whatever you want you know lose all responsibility and stuff like that is that really what you want because that's what you're getting this month um so i you're definitely you know feeling um more playful and wanting to you know feel young again so yeah Let's see what other cards you guys got. So you have the Four of Cups, which tells me that you have a decision that you are needing to make. You see all of your options, and you may have already made your decision, and your decision is final. So let's see what you got for your Cool Whip uh, <laughs> rocks and stuff. For sure. Nope. Cool. Alright, you guys got a lot of them. Alright. Cool. So you got this brownish. 
tan looking rock. Now I don't know the names to all these, but the ones that I do know I will tell you right off the bat. So you have gateway, so you could be opening yourself up to new opportunities, new things could be coming towards you over the horizon. Uh, so there may be a new start coming towards you, uh, some new opportunities. You have this, you know, creamed color rock as well. That's pretty cool. And these could be, you know, rocks and crystals that you are needing to hold on to this week, or they're just, you know, they're just going to help you and stuff like that. We have the amethyst pendant which amethyst is all about you know your intuition and stuff like that so really listen to your intuition when making decisions uh, this month you may even need you know some amethyst hanging around you uh, so that way you get clarity and you know um, how to you know really move forward and also amethyst can also calm you down so you may be very stressed you know in the month of uh, June so and that's why you're needing to de-stress and you know just relax and do what you got to do so having an amethyst crystal around you is really going to help relax you uh, you have this jade or like a mint color green rock you have this one's more of a jade color but I guess yeah so I think that one might be jade <laughs> um but yeah, so it's like a dark green. And you got this colored rock. It's like a, a Milky Way color. And you guys can look up, you know, the rocks that I'm showing you because I, I definitely don't know all these and I'll have to go to the place that I bought them at and, you know, look them up. But right now they're closed, so yeah. Um, Let's see what other cards you guys got. So, yeah, you're just unhappy. You're unhappy in the situation that you're in. Uh, you have the King of Cups in reverse. You have the Ten of Cups in reverse. And you have the um, Fool card in reverse. So that tells me that you were feeling a bit foolish with what you were doing. Or you're wanting to feel foolish. You're wanting to do foolish things, wanting to fool around, you know, you're wanting to have fun in your life and not really stressed about the everyday, you know, things that you have to worry about. You're just, you're wanting to be happy. And in the situation that you were in, there was probably a lot of fighting, a lot of tension, and you were just really unhappy. So now is your time to really feel happy again, feel like a kid, feel like, you know, like you can do it all over again. You know, you can, you know, live your life the best way possible, and you don't have to worry about, you know, crying over spilled milk, because, you know, whatever you do is, you know, your fault. You have the freedom to, you know, do whatever it is that you want, you know, you can't, you have no one else to blame but yourself in this situation, so that's why it gives you freedom, it, it lets you feel like you have no strings attached, that you can do whatever you want, you know, that you can make whatever decision you want without having someone else, you know, nag you about making that decision or something like that. You you don't have any responsibilities anymore, so, you know, you can just do whatever you want, you know? All right. So let's see what you got for the Moonology cards. Let's see what you got from the Moonology cards. So, Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. For the signs that I see, I see Sagittarius, I see Cancer, I see Pisces, I see Capricorn. Um, what else? What else? What other cards do you guys got? What other signs do I see? What other signs do I see? Um, I guess that's it besides Virgo. I think, uh, yeah, I see Virgo in there. All right, cool. So you could be dealing with any of those signs, but those are just the signs that are really coming out to me. So, you know, you could be dealing with any sign, but like I said, those are just the signs that are coming out of the cards right now. But, uh, yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. All right, here we go. So you have, your commitment is being tested. 
All right. So it basically this whole thing, this whole month is a test. Is are you willing to like if like let's say you were a dog, right? And if your owner took you off the leash, would you run away or would you stay there? Like that's kind of like this test mentality, you know, like it's like letting you free but seeing what you would do in that situation would you go run off and do whatever you want or would you stay where you are and you know really do what you do what you were already doing and be grateful for everything that you have you know so there's definitely two sides here you know one's more of a foolish energy and then the other one is like all right i need to rethink everything i need to understand but you're also not really stressing about the situation you have the answers you need will be coming so if you were stressing about any answers that you were you know really focused um about or if you were stressed about anything in the past the answers you will that the answers you need are going to be coming in the month of june all right and then you have full moon in gemini here which is your throat chakra and then you have your first quarter moon card which is your third eye chakra so for that being said i see you getting a lot of clarity when it comes to the month of june you have the amethyst pendant here which is which talks about clarity you have your throat chakra you have your third eye chakra really coming out in this reading so it's definitely you know listen to your intuition do what your intuition is telling you pay attention to the red flags if you're getting yourself into trouble and you're not worrying about your responsibilities you may put yourself in a predicament and yeah um but i do see you getting the clarity that you need the answers that you need will be coming towards you very soon all right um but for right now really have fun um to a certain extent um, I wouldn't, you know, go out and do whatever you want, but like do whatever you want, really. <laughs> but like, I don't know. It's I'm I'm just telling you to do what you want, but also be responsible, right? Um, you at the end of the day, you are a grown adult and you have responsibilities. You may not like those responsibilities and you may want to adventure outwards and you can still do that by still being responsible um but uh yeah so i hope you guys resonated and enjoyed this reading if you did please like comment and subscribe it really does help grow my channel and i really do appreciate it scorpio if you would like to um if you would like to make any subtitles for um, my future viewers or my current viewers and stuff like that uh, you can click on the link in the description in the description box and it will take you to a you know a place where you can translate my videos and stuff like that and further support me um, but other than that I appreciate every single one of you and namaste I'll see you guys next time peace and if you would like to follow me on Instagram and Twitter the links will be down in the in the description box below if you want to see any future content you can hit that channel button and it'll take you to a whole bunch of um, videos that i've already made for the past year because i've been doing this for a year officially um but yeah um and i said future content i meant past content whatever and future content i guess um but either way <laughs> uh if you want to check out a video right now there will be a pop-up video that pops up right now um, that YouTube recommends for you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.